Hey, here's how to plan your day. Interview question for a guy getting off a private corporate jet. How is it we can do some amazing and sometimes unexplainable things? Like heal our own bodies by the power of our thoughts. Mother's intuition, the law of attraction. Can we really tap into our subconscious mind? Can we really create our own realities? It begs the question, are we novice gods? <laughs> Where do you want me to look? I don't know, move over here just a little bit. <laughs> We're like snuggling in the car. Awesome, okay. All right, welcome. <laughs> uh, I, I have Nathan Anderson here. This is my brother-in-law. Hi. I just picked him up. Oh, by the way, you look right here. Oh, you want me to look there? No, you look here. Oh, you want me to look there? Yeah, otherwise Hi. it looks kind of weird. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Thanks, uh, Scott. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, so I just picked him up from the airport. He is a super important person because he flew in on a personal jet. It wasn't his personal jet. It wasn't mine. But it was a personal jet, and it was really cool, and they, like, took his luggage and, like, catered to him, and it was really I highly awesome. recommend it if you can do it. If you have the means, I highly recommend picking one up. Is that how that's, that's Ferris exactly, Bueller that's says how it? Ferris Bueller would say it. Yeah. Okay, so he's joining me on the show. Uh, we are talking about how we actually create some of the mess in our lives as well as we create the good and how we can tap into that. I haven't told him the... I told him kind of the concept of the show. I haven't told him the title yet. But as we were talking about the concept, he was like, I totally dig that, you know, because that happens all the time. Uh, we were kind of talking about manifesting and law of attraction and bringing stuff, creating things in our lives. Yeah, so I was saying, Scott, I, I totally see that happen. People that, that have a positive outlook, people that, that have uh, maybe an entrepreneurial spirit or a, uh, a lucky, seem to have a lucky streak, they, they make their fortune because they see things and they see things that are kind of positive and they're like, yeah, that, that fits my story. Likewise, you know, there are people who, who seem to never catch a break because they frame everything in a negative light. So as soon as something remotely negative or challenging comes up, they're, they're willing to say, well, see, it's not going to work. That'll never work in a million years, so why try? And and that that expands, the ripple effects of that, uh, of that attitude expand either to the positive or the negative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now I'm going to tell them the title for the show. So uh, when I found out about this, I used to take life just at face value, what you see is what you get. And I was stuck in my realities. I was stuck in my problems. And I would I would find success in different places, but I kept repeating the same, I would get the same failures over and over again. Well, I, I learned about all of this stuff and I, about manifesting, about intuition, about creating things. And then I started to wonder why, why is it that we can do this and how can we tap into it? into um, unlocking more. So anyway, the show is titled, Are We Novice Gods? In other words, you know, do we have, yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? Um, and if you think it's crazy in the show notes down below, just write, I think this is crazy. If you think, mm, maybe there's something there, write that in. Maybe there's something there. But the idea is, you know, this isn't a religious show, uh, but the, the question is, it, it, it does follow like two basic principles. A, I believe in God. B, I believe that we're his children. So if we're his children, yeah. does that mean we have his seeds with us? And if we do, can we tap into that? Yeah, so, are we training? Yeah. Cool. God's in training, you know, kind of fun. I like it. Awesome. So tell me about things in your life that uh, that you, you know, have created or th that when you've gotten stuck in kind of repeated patterns, has that ever happened to you? All the time. So, you know, let me let me just say that there's a quote, I think it's Thomas Edison, that says something about luck, and luck is great, um, but a lot of people don't like it because it shows up in in uh, in the form of hard work, or, you know, it presents itself, it looks a lot like overalls and, and dirty fingernails. Um, so, you know, I think that you know, when we are willing to say, I'm going to go outside of my, my normal routine and I'm going to go outside the box, if you will, like mm -hmm. this is my normal routine and I'm coming on over here and I'm going to say, Hey, how do I make this work? It's something that I'd like to see happen that then 
a, a host of opportunities are made available to you. And the, the more and more we close that box in, the more and more, uh, the fewer opportunities we have available to us. And if you think about it, and maybe even in a in a math standpoint, I know that's one thing you love a lot is how to do math. Oh, but yeah. the, the bigger the square, the greater the surface area, right? Or if you if think of it as your circle of influence, the bigger that circle, the greater the, the, the sphere of your frontier, the greater the surface area of your frontier, then, then the more stuff you're exposed to, the more stuff you're already involved in, and the more stuff you're exposed to. And that grows exponentially. So um, if you're doing something and you don't like the results you're getting, then then do something different, right? So if you're saying, well, I'd like to lose weight, but I don't exercise, well, in incorporate, you know, walk up the stairs to your office instead of taking the elevator every day. That's step one. And then, you know, maybe say, well, I'm going to go for a walk every night also. Um, you know, and, or uh, I, I find myself watching too much TV or getting on social media too much because of fear of missing out or I'm bored or whatever. And instead, instead of that, go read, read an article, uh, read an article about, uh, the company you work for, the industry you work in, uh, something your kids are involved with or your family. Um, maybe, maybe find a, find a new topic that, that you've never investigated before and said, that's interesting. I think I'd like to learn more about that. Those are the kind of things that in my mind can, can break you out of the, the funk of, of the routine and say, Hey, that's a great way for me to, uh, to learn something. Awesome. So the question that I'm kind of evaluating today is how do you plan your day? How can you plan your day for greater success? How do you plan it so that you break these cycles of being stuck? Yeah, that's a really interesting question. In my job, uh, I can have all the plans that I want and one phone call changes that for, for the whole day. Um, <laughs> and it happens at 8, 8 5, right? Yeah, or, or sometimes right? seven fifteen, <laughs> right? Um, our, my company operates 24 seven and stuff happens. And, and sometimes I get a call in the middle of the night saying, Hey, guess what? There's some issue. So I like to have a, a structure though. I say, you know, first thing I do when I get into the office is I can take care of these two or three things. And I don't go into the office every day because a lot of my job is, is outside of the office. Like today I was meeting in, in another state, flew in, uh, here. Um, and so, so, uh, but I, I try to, you know, get up in time to do a few things. I can do them in the office. I can do them in my car. I can do them, uh, uh, not while I'm driving. Uh, but I can, I, you know, I can take care of them remotely. Um, and then I kind of have a general structure for the rest of the day. And, and when I'm traveling, I got all we have kinds a call of stuff. We have in. a call. We have a call. We're, we're going to, we're going to pause for the call. Hello. All right. We're back. Uh, we just took a quick call. So we were, yeah, we were just quickly talking about, um, planning your day and starting out and having a routine that will help you. And why are routines important for you? Uh, routine is for me is important because I don't have to think about it, right? Get up, work out, shower, drive to work. Um, you know, anything else I, I want to get in that routine. I mean, that's a real simplified version of what I try to do, but I'll, I'll read a little bit, have some meditation time. Um, uh, personally, just, just, you know, relax, not, not relaxing, but just thinking. Um, and then looking at my day again, I usually do that at night and then in, again in the morning to kind of refresh my plan. And then, um, it's just, it's something it, because it's a routine. It's almost like a habit. You don't have to think about it very much and, and you just, you just kind of do it. And to the extent that you can do that, you save, uh, you know, you save the effort of thinking, Oh, okay, what am I going to do this morning? Well, I have a routine. I know what I'm going to do in the morning. And that gets bounced around sometimes. And so yeah, I, be, I try to be really flexible. And then um, in the evening, I try to have a, a similar kind of routine where I'm maybe reading or spending time with my family, um, talking to my kids and my wife and saying, okay, that's kind of how we close the day off. And we even do that, that because of technology. We can do that by FaceTime or you know Skype or phone when I'm not in the same state or in the same region as them. As happens. All the time. Yeah. So anyway, if you are, like Nathan was saying kind of at the beginning, in a stuck pattern where you're repeating these cycles of failure or, you know, things that are not working right for you, check out your routine and then change your routine, but then find a routine that will be helpful and be, you know, successful. I do believe that we are more creative than we give ourselves credit for. And so tune in for another show. Let's evaluate. Let's figure out what is it that's inside of us and what can we create that is abundant, that is wonderful and uh, really makes our lives expansive rather than being stuck in the same pattern. So cool. Let's go make something. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Bye. How is it we can do some amazing and unexplainable things? Join me as I look at the evidences that show we have untapped godlike power within us. Click subscribe to catch more episodes or ring the bell and get notified when a new video comes out.